So after testing ChatGPT Canvas, I want to show you five insane ways you can use it for your content business. And just to get people up to speed, ChatGPT Canvas was released in the beginning of October and is currently in beta. And they have a document editor that works really well. You can do so many different things, such as suggesting edits, adjusting the length of your article, changing the reading level, adding any final polishes, and also adding emojis. So this works really well with writing or doing code. All right, so jumping straight into it, the first one we're going to do is writing a personalized email, and this can be used in any context or whether you're trying to do a podcast outreach, guest post, sponsorship, whatever it might be, this will work really well using Canvas. So for this example, I have a three-step system. First, we're going to have ChatGPT search the web based on that person or business entity. Then we're going to have AI create the rough draft email for whatever purpose based on your context. And for this example, we're going to be asking Matt Wolf, who's also the owner of Feature Tools and also the Next Wave podcast, if I can join his podcast for a special feature. So we're going to go ahead and follow this prompt sequence. First, learn as much as you can about Matt Wolf and his podcast. I'm going to leave those two URLs. Then I'm going to say, even the small details matter. Please give me a bio of him, add professional and personal elements. This is super important because I want to try to have the email as personalized as possible. Then we're going to receive that output. And then I'm going to add a second follow-up prompt for us to write that email. All right, so we're inside of ChatGPT Canvas. Just go ahead and click on slash, and then it's going to pull up that little search feature. Then we're going to copy and paste that prompt in here. And let's go ahead and have it scan his two websites. So what it did, it searched two of the sites, which is the ones that we have here. And it's also given us his a quick little bio, a professional and a little bit of personal information. So we know that he's the co-host of The Next Wave and his business partner is Nathan Lands. They talk a lot about AI insights, which is exactly where I want to be. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that email. And I'm also going to even say, create a funny and curiosity based email subject line. Perfect. So now we're in the canvas mode. So you can see that it looks really nice. It's a simple document editor and it makes it really kind of center focus on your specific text. So you can see that it came up with a really good subject line. Is the next wave ready to meet AI's weird content cousin? Hey, Matt, I'm Eddie, the guy on YouTube who teaches people to create better content using AI. Love what you and Nathan are doing on the next wave. It's like having an AI Sherpa guiding us through this crazy new landscape. I'd love to join you for a chat on the podcast. We could riff on how creators are harnessing AI and you get the gist. So this looks really good. Now from here, we can go ahead and use Canvas's features where we can either suggest edits, we can adjust the length, we can adjust the reading level, we can add any final polishes, or we can just add emojis. So first of all, let's go ahead and adjust the length and see what it does. I'm going to make it a little bit longer. Nice. So that looks pretty good. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change the reading level to middle school. I like this a lot more. And then finally, I'm just going to add a final polish. All right. So this is actually a really good email. First of all, it's personalized. Second of all, it talks a little bit about who I am as well and why I want to go onto the podcast and why it will be beneficial for the both of us. Now, from here, you can continue editing further on your own, or you can just either send this out if you think everything looks fine. If you want to get some suggestions from Canvas itself, you can just go ahead and click on this button and it's going to go ahead and give us some further suggestions. Overall, I mean, this is taking us less than three, two minutes, and we could either pick up on what it's providing us and we can make those edits just by clicking on apply. And you can see that it's going to improve it overall. So you can see that it changed the subject line and we can continue applying these new suggestions and see how it improves it overall. So that's pretty good. I think from here, you can go ahead and continue editing or just go ahead and submit the email. So for our next use case, we're going to go ahead and write amazing blog posts using Canvas. Now here is the steps that I'm going to follow. Number one, we're going to have it research our topic. We're going to feed our blog post template, structure, or any context. Then we're going to have it generate the rough draft. Then we're going to have it include any SEO keywords, which is optional. And then we can add visual elements like tables, images, or even a table of contents. So this is the exact prompt sequence that we're going to use. I'm writing a blog post about X and the search intent is either informational, transactional, or commercial. Search the web about the topic and then learn everything you can about it. Then from there, you're going to add in the follow up prompt from here, write the article following my blog post structure. You're going to attach that PDF, which is any context. 
and then you're going to use 8th grade or ninth grade reading level and include any powerful and funny hooks while using line breaks. So let's go ahead and enter the prompt and this one's going to be as an example for how to change the tire. The intent is informational and we're going to make sure that it gives us a summary as well. So you can see that it searched six different sites and now it's given us the steps that we can follow. What I really like too is that it gave us some sources from AAA, uh, another company, and another website. All right, so from here, we're going to go ahead and add that follow along prompt, which is going to say, write the article, follow my blog post structure. And the one we're going to be using is my template for how to or informational guide. And this is a very powerful one because this is the one I use, or mainly the foundation of all of my informational posts. And if you're someone who really wants to get these kind of templates, I have created a course and community where I'm going to be teaching you how to use these templates, AI system prompts, weekly live Q and A's, and you're always going to get the most updated information from me. And you're going to learn how to create and generate content ideas that build an audience and where you can actually leverage an algorithm proof business. So if that's something that interests you, you can always check in the description below. So let's go ahead and add in that template and we're going to have it write the rough draft for us. Sweet. This, so this is looking really good. We have our title, we have our intro, we have the sections, bullet points to break up the wall of text. So overall, this is looking pretty good. It's also given us the main content and I really like it. So what we can do here is we can just start using Canvas's features, just like we did with the email. And I can go ahead and adjust the length. So we're just going to go to make this a little bit longer. So it's editing the article real time. And then from here, I want to go ahead and add a visual element like a table of the steps. So I'm going to go ahead and say add a very nice looking table that explains the steps in one column. And then the other column, it explains the steps in five to seven words. So we're going to have it add it right after the introduction. So you can see how really nice it looks. It really breaks up the wall of text. It gives our readers a quick step by step process and you know, someone who wants to go on a website and let's say they're in the middle of the road and they see this summary box, it's really going to help them and make them feel a lot better about this post. Now from here, I really don't like how there's no line breaks. So I'm going to go ahead and say to add in more line breaks and make sure that you say for each paragraph section. Perfect. So now that's looking a lot better. It went ahead and added those line breaks for us. So it's not just a wall of text and it looks a lot cleaner. Sweet. So now from here, I can go ahead and add an FAQ section. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this and ask ChatGPT to add in a FAQ section that answers only three questions. Then I'm going to say, make sure each answer is only 325 characters long. Perfect. So I went ahead and added an FAQ section. So the article is looking a lot better. Now from here, I'm just going to go ahead and change the reading level to middle school just to make it easier for the reader. So this is looking a lot better. Perfect. So the last thing you can do is now you can just go ahead and add in a final polish. So this is going to add little things such as, you know, uh, extra headings. It's going to just make it look a lot cleaner. And overall, I really enjoy this article. And this is something that you can definitely continue editing further. You can add in, you know, some kind of content optimization tool like surf for SEO and see how you can optimize it further for search engines. But overall, this is a really good article as a starting point. All right. So for the next one, we're going to be creating a simple FAQ with canvas. And I did get a little bit ahead of myself when I added it to the document, but this one's going to be a little bit more advanced. So let's try this one together. And the reason why I have this is because I've been able to rank on Google AI overviews and also featured snippets using this exact prompt. So the prompt sequence is going to say blog post FAQs, create a list of three to five frequently asked questions, all answering under 325 characters on my topic. Then I'm going to say use a three reading level, straightforward tone, avoid any technical jargon. And for each keyword, include any specific SEO keyword intent. Now, this is really powerful. And let's go ahead and try this one together. All right, so let's go ahead and highlight that FAQ section. And we're going to replace it with this prompt here. All right, perfect. So I went ahead and updated our FAQ section. So this does look a lot nicer. It did include uh, some keywords here for us, which is SEO focused. And I really like it. I mean, you can either go with it or you can remove it. 
But overall, these are actually ones that have been able to rank for on Google AI overviews and also featured snippets. So try that FAQ section for your articles when you're writing in Canvas. All right, so for our next use case, we're going to be using a VSL prompt or video sales letter. Now, this is something you can use whether you're selling a course, services, digital product, or even templates. But this is going to be a long form script writing tool. It's going to be very powerful with the help of Canvas. So here's the sequence prompts that we're going to use. We're going to start with the intro first. Then we're going to go into the main content of our video sales letter, and then we're going to close it off with the sale. So for this example, we're going to say you are a VSL script writer. You're going to write a script on how to get 1000 subscribers fast. And we're going to start with the first section, which is the intro. And our goal is to hook them in and also use our avatar and ideal customer profile. So this is an example here that I have with a PDF, which is a course outline. I also have my ideal customer profile, their age, why they're, what they're trying to learn, who are they? And I also have the course structure here with the outline. So we're going to go ahead and drag that into ChatGPT and have it help us write our first part of our script. All right, so this looks pretty good. Are you tired of creating videos that barely get any views? Are you wondering why your subscriber count isn't growing, even though you're putting in all the work? If so, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your first 1,000 subscribers fast. And I'm not talking about months of effort or waiting around for a miracle. I'm talking about real strategies that work. And then it gives us a scenario. It talks about the outlier method, and it's going based off of my course outline. So that's really good. I like it. And now we can go move on to the next section. So for the next section, we're going to have it write the main content, and it's going to be around 1,200 to 1,500 words. We're going to have a lot of information about the desires, the solution, and what they should expect throughout the entire course. So let's go ahead and enter that prompt now. All right, so this is really good. So this is the main content. It's given us obstacles, the answer to the obstacle, proof of what's working, a story, and also a case study. And then it's also turning our objection into a positive answer. And it's doing the same thing for another obstacle, but this is really, really good. I mean, for example, this one is, I don't have enough time to make all this content. For many creators, time is a huge limitation. You might be balancing school, full-time job, or fam family responsibilities. It can seem impossible to produce enough content to grow at a fast pace, but the outlier method allows you to work smarter and not harder. And it's given us an example, a story, and a case study. So this is really, really good. We can use this for our main content, and now we can close it for the sale. So we're going to write the final section. We're going to create a bonus and offer stack and then make it a no brainer offer use around 1200 words. Perfect. So now it's saying you made it this far. Now it's time to get to the part that will truly accelerate your growth, introducing the 1K creator accelerator program. Now, what you get inside of the program is the outlier method, content planning masterclass, hook and retention secrets, community of like minded creators and also analytic deep dives. Then it also includes the bonuses, which is a bonus offer stack, which is very powerful. And then we get a recap of everything that they get. You could use this for the VSO. So try this out for your own course and community or content that you're selling. This is going to make things so much quicker without the need to hire a copywriter or a ghostwriter. Our, our next use case is going to be repurposing content into other content formats. For example, when let's say we have a YouTube video or a newsletter or any kind of long form content, we can repurpose that into other social media platforms like LinkedIn, X, YouTube community posts, or even threads. So here is the pump sequence for this. Number one, we can grab our transcripts like YouTube videos. We can grab articles or other contexts that we've created in the past. Then we're gonna use some kind of swipe file template that you can model. And then we're gonna have ChatGPT Canvas help us write the article or post. So here's a few things that I like to do. So this is using a website called Clio. I'm going to use one of their LinkedIn post templates that they have already created for us that we can swipe. And there's a bunch of different examples here that you can use. So technically, if you spend one whole day or two days getting all of the templates, you can essentially have up to 90 days worth of content if you do this correctly. So we're going to grab one of my videos from my YouTube channel, which is the most recent one, how to start a newsletter business using AI. We're going to grab that share link here, copy. Then you're going to go to a free YouTube transcript generator and add in your video to grab the entire transcript. 
So once we have that, we're gonna go ahead and copy and then we're gonna go into ChatGPT Canvas and we're just gonna go ahead and paste that in here for now. And I'm gonna grab that prompt. All right, so here's the prompt that we're gonna use. We're gonna do an example for a LinkedIn post. We're gonna go ahead and follow Cleo's template. This one's one of them that I chose from the 90. And then I also went ahead and added my transcript in here. So let's go ahead and click on enter. This is insane. So we have our LinkedIn post, 51% open rates, 21% clicks. These are the stats of my newsletter and they're big reason why I'm all in on building a newsletter business. I've seen firsthand how relying on YouTube or SEO can leave you vulnerable to algorithm changes. One update and your traffic could vanish overnight. That is insanely powerful. Just even this little hook here will get people be like, oh, I wanna get those open rates as well. And then it has a little start here or start simple. Here are the four steps to get started. Pick a niche you can stick to for 12 to 24 months. Use tools like newsletter directories. Choose your platform. Create a no-brainer lead magnet. It will take about one hour to do all these steps, and they can add in your image. So this is insane. And again, if you could do this over and over again, you can have up to 90 to 100 plus LinkedIn post templates that you can repurpose for a book to three to four months. So use this. It's very powerful. If you don't like how it came out, you can also suggest edits. You can adjust the length. You can also adjust the reading level, add any final polishes, and also add emojis. So let's see what happens if we just add an emoji. Cool, so it's not that overwhelming. We have a few emojis here, and we can either delete some or, or add more, but overall, I really like how this one looks. I like how it includes this in the sentence. I mean, overall, it looks really nice. Um, if you're not into emojis, totally fine. You can just go ahead and delete it by just clicking on previous version. So we can restore to the previous version and we're good to go. So this is a very powerful prompt, try it out for yourself. So those are five ways you can use ChatGPT Canvas to help you create amazing content as your content business is growing. Again, my name is Eddie and if you wanna see other videos, YouTube is gonna go ahead and recommend you these two videos you can watch next. I would also love to see you in the community whenever you have a chance, go ahead and check the description below. See you guys in the next video.